Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss the hardware for the TDS-NT cable test system. Let's get started. The Megger TDS-NT has the ability to test with two proven wave shapes in just one device. These are the cosine rectangular or damped AC waveforms. The TDS-NT can be used to perform VLF cable testing and partial discharge measurements. The standard compliant VLF cable test uses the cosine rectangular waveform, while damped alternating current voltage is applied for voltage discharge testing. The 50 Hz slope technology utilized with the TDS-NT cable test system is directly comparable to power frequency for reliable evaluation of PD measurements. The TDS-NT cable test system consists of two units, the upper operating module and the lower high voltage module. Now let's take a look at the user interface for the TDS-NT. The user interface features the emergency shutdown switch, an analog kilovolt meter, digital display, F1 and F2 menu keys, and the rotary selector knob and push button. User selections are made using the rotary selector knob and push button. The lower portion of the user interface features the system card slot, the onboard printer, red high voltage off button, the green high voltage on button, the keyed safety interlock, and the power button. The test leads used with the TDS-NT consists of the high voltage lead, the grounding leads for the upper and lower test modules, and the power supply cable. To use the TDS-NT for partial discharge measurements, the PDS-60 partial discharge coupler is required. This concludes our discussion on the hardware for the TDS-NT cable test system. Visit the Megger YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic, or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.